it's been raining and raining and raining for the past few days here in England and the temperature is really falling so I think it's time to take my citrus trees inside I've just loved having them outside this whole summer it's given so much more space in the house and I know it's so much better for these plants but it's getting cold now it's really wet and I think I've seen people say that if you take them inside earlier rather than later they can sort of acclimatize to the temperature changes and when we said to drastic changes if you leave them to October when it's really cold out here and then you go into a sort of drier house a colder ha a warmer house and kind of shock the plants a bit so taking them in now in the sort of mid to, to late September is probably not a bad thing even though it will take up lots of space in the house I've given my Australian finger lime here a bit of a haircut because he was really full and really sort of bushy in the middles so have sort of cleared out a bit of space in there for a bit of airflow and I might give him a little bit more of a trim because I do want to keep him contained and kind of smaller so that I can actually keep him in the house so he fits in there but let's get bringing them in now so in the end I left them out for a bit longer just to try my luck but then last night it just started blowing a gale. It was proper storming and really raining and I just thought that's it. And the temperatures were also dropping down to 8 degrees Celsius. And actually in the next few days they'll be dropping down to 6 just overnight. I mean during the day they didn't get up to like 15 or 16 degrees Celsius but it's not warm. So I thought now it's the time to bring them in. And so here we've got this beauty here. This is the lovely Sanguinello Blood Orange. He has three oranges still on him. Luckily they didn't knock off. As the storm could have knocked them off too, and I could have done while I was moving them. They're still looking good. He's still looking lovely. I think this is a good spot for him. And then, of course, my sweet Australian finger lime. He's here as well. This is where he always lives. And he seems quite happy here. This room is really the best place to overwinter um, oranges or citruses in general. It always has a really great level of humidity in here and you can see that little sort of frowny face almost that's because it's not ideal for a house for furnishings and things like that it can get quite humid but because it's raining that's why it's that sort of um humidity here usually it's not quite that high but of course plants do love it it's not dry it's not super hot it's just actually quite perfect for citrus so um, at the moment i can only fit two citrus trees in here but hopefully at some point i can get some kind of a few more stools or something and crowd a few more around here because they really do like being here but i'll show you where i've got the other one situated at the moment so i've got these little citrus trees just jammed in here on this little table yeah this is the four seasons lemon tree he's actually got lots of lemons on him um, which aren't always easy to spot because they are quite camouflaged they're hiding in the foliage all around and of course, they'll look really Christmassy, I think, when they start turning yellow in time for Christmas in the next few months. And down here we have the cute little, um, this is the red lime. He's got some pretty fruits on him as well. A little bit of flower there, a little bit of blossom going on. And um, he actually had lots of growth on him. If you saw it in the previous video from outside, I gave him a big prune yesterday because I just thought I didn't need all this really sort of sprawling um, branches. I kind of wanted him just to concentrate on the fruit he's got and just sort of stay quite small and contained so I could keep him here because there's no space for a really massive one. I want him to stay a little bit little. And he has quite a few bits of fruit here to sort of work on growing. Even there's another one there too. So Lovely little guy. And I will give him a bit of Epsom salts here to help with this yellowing there. And then finally, my fifth one is, of course, the kaffir lime. And he is over here, hidden, really hard to see him. But he's down here, sort of right in the window, getting some sunlight there. And he's got a little flower with him there as well, which is a fever few, and that keeps away insects. It sort of self-sewed itself, and I thought it's brilliant to keep away bugs and things. It really repels them, so I've let it stay there. It's quite pretty, but it's quite squashed now, so hopefully it'll be okay down there. But that's it for 
my winter preparations. It's the first little guys to bring inside. Soon I'll have to bring some other ones in and move things around as it gets colder. The funny thing is we have this week of lots of rain and storms. And then when we tip into um, October, we're going to have some nice weather again. It's going to go up to about 21 degrees Celsius, which is kind of really nice for autumn. So yeah, just a bit tricky, but I'd rather have these guys in now and just get them all ready for a long time indoors. And we'll see how they go. I'm going to continue feeding them. I have my two little feeds. I'll just show you what I've got. I've got this lovely summer one here, and um, that's the one that you feed weekly. So I've been doing that, just mixing it up in water. It's almost empty now, but I'll give it one more feed now before we end September, maybe two more feeds. And then we'll have to tip into October, and I'll start doing it monthly. And I'll also slightly cut back on the watering. I want to make sure that they get a big drink full of food when I do feed them and then let them dry out between waterings, more or less. I mean, when they have fruit on them, you, you have to kind of keep them a little bit moist, but I just don't want to give them too much water because they can, that can damage them. But it's going to be, yeah, I just hope they're going to be okay and acclimatize quickly and not get stressed out by this sudden move into the warmer house. And again, it's not much warmer than outside, but it's a lot drier. Um, so we'll see how they do.